Hello everyone, I'm glad to welcome you to the Captain German channel and today we have another tech session. I have a brilliant idea. I want to give Dina a birthday present. We don't usually celebrate any holidays, not birthdays, not New Year. That's just how it's been and neither Dina nor I like it. But I've decided to change things up, break our rules a bit and give her a gift. I want to give her a vinyl record player and something else as well. There will be a surprise closer to the end of the video. So vinyl is what we're going to buy now and in general I think having a vinyl player and listening to vinyl on a boat is really cool. In order for everything to sound good we need to install a great audio system on our boat. But unfortunately, it cannot be done as a surprise because it's a big project and we'll have to take apart the entire boat. This will take about a week, probably, though I want it done faster, let's be realistic. So there won't be any surprises here. Dina is coming in a few days. The gift is a vinyl plier and all the speakers, amplifiers and other things are arriving too. I'll tell you more about it soon. So this is what we are going to do now, installing the audio system on our boat. Should we continue? Well, Dina, come on, come on, and open your present. On. It's not just a gift, it's something to play the gift Start the with. Fire segment. Go on, open it. What do we have here? Well, it seems clear. Briefly, wow, briefly. what a surprise. There's a lot of styrofoam in the box. Took it out. What is it? Put it down. You already know what like it is, right? Like you're getting caught up in the little thing. It was probably unclear no, from the box. No, there was a surprise section. Oh, in a wood style. Classical. Oh my, how magnificent. Well, let's start the second part, shall we? Listen, do you think it's pretty stylish to play uh, El Nino on a sailboat? I think it's impractical. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, a polished wooden piece. To be continued. Well, I am not sure, by the way. This is not a wooden piece. This, this is, is for the wooden bit. Why do you need a wooden bit? No, I don't need the little wooden Well, now thing. we're going to assemble and turn it on. Want to try it? It doesn't matter at what height. And for everything else, we will need to get ready. All set. Yes. And if you twist it, it will settle on its own. Here I am turning it. Here it has settled. Heavy metallic. Well, it cast iron, looks just like, like a, a frying chip. pan. Looks like you can chip make pancakes. I think that's what it is. To fry pancakes. To and the most important thing. Is this needed? That, of here? course, is essential. All right then. And this cover it closes the needle yes the needle is already there ah uh, so what will happen like what will happen All right, and let's this go. needs to be configured read the manual how else can you understand how to understand it's you yourself we're going to test it now. We've connected it to our Semradu. Later, we'll connect it permanently. We have a big plan for that. So, here we go. Open it up, put the record on. So, are we going to listen to it now? Let's start the Pink Is Floyd. Is it going to be Spin Floyd? First. No more version? Version. Align in, that's it, here it is. Something hissed lower this thing. Oh, 
The birds started singing. I hope you enjoyed it. of life from places I've been Rhythms pulse through the ocean swell Project needs a plan because without a plan we do nothing for the boat we need to clearly understand what will happen. Currently we have an onboard system, Simrad, which works well and is divided into three zones. The first zone is the cockpit, the second zone is the saloon and the third is for the external amplifier. Therefore, we will be connecting the external amplifier. We will output it to the third zone, we will disconnect the second zone of speakers, and maybe someday in the future we'll move them to our forward cabin. But for now, at, uh, at the moment, our plan is as follows. For speakers that will play just as regular speakers to subwoofers, and accordingly, there will be two amplifier installed. But the main challenge here is specifically connecting the audio speakers because I already bought the speakers and they turned out to be incredibly huge. For some reason I thought 8 inches would be sufficient. It turned out that 8 inches is just a speaker and if you include the outer frame of the speaker it's 10 inches. So it's a huge piece that needs to be built into the wall and they also need to be placed so there's a distance of at least they fit poorly in terms of height, so it will be quite a hassle. Our onboard system is decent, with all controls managed through our chart plotters. Because it is connected to the boat by NMEA, in the corner here, we have the control setup. So we go in here, you can adjust the volume, you can mute it, all of which is also duplicated. On the, on the screen that I showed you, everything is right here. Sources, uh, you can enable, uh, there are many here. The most important part is here in the zones. You'll see we have zone one, zone two, zone three. Then there's the subwoofer level that can be adjusted. You can set filters on the frequencies, for example, like that. You see, and in all zones, you can adjust the bass. Travel, meaning mid frequencies, is controlled through our SIM rod. And by the way, you can adjust the balance so that it plays more to the left or right in each zone. And as for forward, backward, we will control that exclusively through the app. That's how it all works. It's very convenient for control naturally. So we need to set it all up in such a way that between the front speakers, let's say on the starboard side and the rear ones, there is still front to back adjustment. For this, we install a separate amplifier, which will regulate all the frequencies. There is the option to control it through an app. Everything is set up there, but essentially, we also configure everything through our boat system via the chart plotter using NMEA. So we, have, we will have a dual option for settings. But from the amplifier, I only need forward-backward adjustments, while left-right can be done directly with our current system. As for the inputs, we have a jack, we have, uh, we have a line input. We have SPDIF, which is another line input. So there's the option to connect the radio and everything. Our standard system handles all of this. Outputs usually go left and right to each zone, which then goes into the amplifier. And then it is distributed to all the speakers. There's also a separate output from the subwoofer, which goes directly to the amplifier, and then we'll control the bass with the amplifier. But if we want more bus or less bus, we can adjust it via NMEA through our chart plotter. So we have a flexible system and now we just need to connect everything. So let's start dismantling the ceiling. This task is of course very large and quite complex to tackle. 
All right, so I've disassembled the ceiling and now we have a small problem. Look, these speakers are our jams. The problem is that the height here is nine centimeters. And if we measure this depth, it is nine centimeters from the top surface. So darn, it bumps into it how not to make a mistake. Phew, well, I've inserted the speaker in there. Of course, everything is quite snug, so it will press a bit against the top part. But okay, we are continuing to install the speakers. Here we've already removed the panel. I drilled this part and we will fold it like this. Then we will wrap it. We need to buy a gun that sets these types of rivets. And this part will be cut out like this here. A speaker will be installed here and right next to it there will be a light. So now I'm opening all the brackets like this. So I'm filming all this because we need to carefully cut the vinyl on that side. So the speaker looks nice. Because if it doesn't look nice it would be terrible since these are facades. Okay, all the vinyl is removed. There's still a little bit left, I forgot one. Anyway, the vinyl doesn't look nice on the inside here, but oh well. Now we need to mark the hole and put it out, like a circle. Got it, so now how are we going to cut it out? That's it. Wonderful. Next time we could make it just a tiny bit smaller, literally by a couple of millimeters, but this is perfect. Okay, we're settled on this. All right, I put all these pieces back and now I'm starting to attach the wood all along the length. Nail gun. You don't need to say anything, I just don't have one. This has become a column and this will be the light. All right, the panel is ready. I couldn't take the stress of hammering brackets with pliers anymore, had to go and buy a stapler. Now, of course, everything will be much easier. That's a whole different matter, yeah. Well, I have a small defect here but there was a hole cut out, so it's fine. So we have the base, Victron, chart plotter, and now a slot for one more larger speaker. Now let's start attaching the speakers directly. The base speakers go here. They simply screw in through their, their mounting holes. Regular speakers are inserted and secured with small brackets. Basically, all you need to do is take a screwdriver and just tighten four bolts that will attach the speaker directly to the wooden piece. Let's start stretching the cable. Soldering iron and end. So, we have the panels already assembled and now our task is simply to route all the wires correctly, secure them so they don't interfere. 
and by start installing the panel in its designated spot. It is very important to lay out all the wires, securing them with ties so nothing is dangling, and that's it. Our wall is in place. Now we add the finishing touches. Now we, we just take the covers and close the speakers themselves. This is our decor. By the way, the covers, which were on the base speakers, they were black. Dina bought a spray can for paint or metal and just painted it with white paint. That's the left speaker. And this JBL is kind of its usual color, so it fits in, although it's a bit crooked, made in a rather sloppy way, but in the end it turned out well. The wires are laid out here. Each one has a marker to avoid mistakes. Port bus, now we're getting in here and it's time to tidy up a bit. Uh, all right, we are going to watch now. We naturally solder the wires because if there's a bad contact somewhere and a speaker falls off, disassembling the boat is, well, it's really a day probably to unscrew all the ceilings and look for where the contact came off. That's why I got used to soldering everything. Moreover, it's done easily. I have all the equipment. Now I'll solder all the connectors. We will connect everything nicely at the connectors. It will look beautiful because as it's known, do it beautifully and it will turn out beautifully. If not, it will look bad regardless. I solder all the wires because as I've mentioned before, I like everything to be done properly. All the ends will be soldered so the contact will be better and uh, over time it won't come loose and the wires won't get crushed and uh, we managed to assemble everything we have need soldering on all contact points overall it turned out well so now everything is assembled and connected let's check it out we have our regular speakers the port starbucks and tent 2 in the ceiling. The distance between them is at least two meters, so the sound will play well and the room will have good sound coverage. Next to the starboard and port speakers, we have subwoofer casings installed, meaning subwoofer surrounds. That's why we have it set almost at the minimum. Now I'm getting into the settings and uh, adjust left, right, forward, backward, and basically everything. Our system is now ready for use. You know that you can't post music on YouTube. So we created our own song to convey the atmosphere to you. We are starting to test our audio system with a subwoofer, with adjustment through Simrad, through... In short, it's magnificent. Let's go. So, friends, have you seen that we've installed new speakers and a subwoofer? Why was all this planned? Do you think just to have some good music? Number today is Dina's birthday and there is a surprise waiting for her. Here I am already sitting here. I'm sitting on the cushion at the bow, waiting for her to come. I have a surprise prepared for her. And here comes our princess. So Dina, it's your birthday and I have a surprise for you. Look what I have for you. A compact uh, disc, just big, 12 inches, folks. But that's not all. Yes, uh, it's not just a present. Look at the back. It, do you know what this is? It's a certificate of authenticity. And if for real, and if you still don't understand what's happening, take a look. 
we have a Michael Kiwanuka disc and this is his original autograph. So that's the kind of gift we're giving. Dina, happy birthday. Are you happy? We'll play it now and listen, or maybe in the evening. Let's do it in the evening. It'll be atmospheric, setting the mood with a glass of something tasty. Well, now the most important question. What about the money? Let's see what we've got. So JBL speakers at 40 bucks each, four speakers for $160. We bought five, but let's see how much it cost us to get this playing. Two subwoofer speakers cost us $50 each and a five channel amplifier costs us $220 and an amplifier for the subwoofer costs us $100. About $30 more were spent on wires, connectors and other stuff. Considering RCA connections and connections in general, around $30 for wires and connectors. And all of this cost us a total of $610 for the setup and another approximately $250 to $300, I don't remember exactly. The player itself that we will use, so the entire setup for the boat cost us around $900 to, so that we have good sound and now you have to live with it. And of course for us too. Well friends, our latest uh, technical episode has come to an end. We've installed a wonderful audio system that plays well. This is a gift for Dina's birthday, so I decided to congratulate her in this way, breaking our usual rules and wishes. So, I hope the audio system will keep pleasing us without any breakdowns or interference, so that it's uh, fun to spend time on the boat and we have great sound. You know that good sound is very important. So friends, give us a like, leave a comment. I think you have something to say and share your thoughts, because we're not professional sound installers, but the result you're getting, we are quite satisfied. So if you want to share something, you're welcome. However, check your subscription to the channel because we will have a lot of interesting things. Check the notification bell. And next week, we will already have another interesting episode. Bye. So